Johnson in for base. And that is the Colette. 17th turnover by Castlewood. Colette for Salyer. So it's Johnson, Parks, Hackney, Colette, and Anderson on the floor. Gate City up by two. Right side it comes to Parks. Parks worked for the open shot. Gets it to Anderson, 2.20 two to go. Anderson, crossover dribble, takes it down, kicks it out of Hackney. This is a big, big one. No, it won't go. Rebound by Carter. Wouldn't go. Carter. Good looking shot. Yep, though. just didn't go down. But Rattled out. Open. Justice. Justice drives down the lane, leaves it off down low. McReynolds shot, no good, and he's fouled. If they get Johnson on this one. Yep. Foul on Josh Johnson will be his first. Just here got there a little bit late. Here comes Bays and Sager quickly off the bench. They'll get back in the game. Mac Reynolds to shoot two. Free throw, good. 53-52, Gate City with a one-point lead. Bays and Sager back in. Mac Reynolds can tie. Free throw, good. We're tied at 53. Two minutes to go in regulation. Anderson with it for the Blue Devils. Gets it back to Hackney. Hackney stands out front, guarded by Justice. Gets it to Bays. Back to Sager between the rings. Left side it goes to Anderson. Anderson puts it on the floor, spins in the lane, takes it to the hole, shot up, won't go. Rebound off Castlewood. Yes, it was, but that's not the way it's called. Southgate City. Come on, the ref from the backside. Straighten this out. Williams and Parks in for Hackney and somebody. We've so, seen way too many missed calls tonight. Justice with it. Well, it's not been horrible. Justice. Works out front against Sayer. Now Justice gets left of the lane. Leaves it off for Collins. He didn't take the three. Here's Carter. Carter left of the lane. Takes it in the lane. Blocked away by Bays. Williams comes up with it. Get it ahead to Anderson. Anderson takes it strong to the hole. Shut up. Good. And he's fouled. A great three-point opportunity here for Ty Lee with the 116 to play. Devils up from Gate City by two. And the foul was on 12, Chris Smith, his second. Hackney in for Parks. So Tyler Anderson can give his team a three-point lead if he can complete the free throw. Anderson in the air, good. Timeout, Gate City, 56-53, a minute 16 to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 56, 53, Gate City leads the AP Poles number one Group A team in the state. <coughs> a lot of basketball left in this one. Pass inbounds comes to McReynolds, tipped out of bounds by Bays. Yeah, nice move by Bays. No chance of the steal, but he but didn't foul. Gate City with pressure. Gets it in to Smith. Smith, he'll bring it across the timeline. Look in the left corner, guys. Smith gets it to McReynolds, stolen away, and it's re-stolen by Carter. Anderson had it, Carter took it back. And here's the pass, tipped around. Carter comes up with it, and with it is Smith. Went back for it, but it was tipped. Here's Smith, don't leave him alone. Gets it to McReynolds, works against Bays. Bays, they say, fouls him, I guess he did. Foul will be on Bays. Matt's first. It's, uh, sends McReynolds to the line to shoot two. Gate City with 10 team fouls. Castlewood with four. Free throw, McReynolds, good. I mean, when he releases the ball, it's just going in. He missed his first one, but uh, like I say, last night he didn't miss any, and he's a good free throw shooter for a big man. Missed that one, though. Rebound, Bays, off of Bays. Oh, oh, goodness. Gate City got a break there. I could have sworn that. Yes, he did. I could have sworn it went off Matt's foot. 
I'd like to ask Matt if it went off his foot because he <laughs> kind of dropped his head a little bit when that ball went out of bounds. We'll do that later. They say it's yeah. off justice. Gate City by two with the ball. Here's Anderson, and he's fouled. It will be non-shooting as that's only the fifth team foul on Castlewood. 46 Ex seconds to play. Gates and this was up by two. exactly the situation last night. Castlewood only had four fouls, and they had to... Uh, uh, create some to get to the point to put Norton on the foul line. Sayer gets it into Hackney, back to Anderson. Anderson takes it down left of the lane and he's fouled. And that's a good foul because it looked like Anderson was going to get the bucket. He was uh, or he tried to pass it off to the Bays on the backside and <coughs> had a shot. Fouls on 10, Collins, timeout. Timeout on the floor, it'll be a full timeout. 42 seconds to go, Gate City leads by two. Gates City will have the ball in a two-point lead. Sager to inbounds. Gets it in in the corner to Anderson. Anderson works it back out front. Picks up his dribble now. Takes it down right of the lane. Takes it to the hole. Shot up. Won't go. Rebounded. Ball on the floor. Fought for. Possession there to Gate City. With 30.4 seconds to play. Anderson had it hang on the rim and yeah. it wouldn't go in. It got up against the backboard and fell off. So Gate City, again, I'll have it on the inbounds. Leading by two, 30 seconds to go. Four point lead here would be real hand. Fast comes into Bays, puts it on the floor and it's fouled. And that'll be Matt Bays going to the line to shoot one or more now for Gate City. And two free throws here would be just as huge. Well, that's, you gotta hit them. Championships are won with defense and several other things, but you gotta hit these. Down the stretch. Yeah. Got to hit him. Free throw. Bays. Bang. Big City up by three. Now he can make it a two possession game. Castlewood doesn't have to shoot the three even if Bays makes this. Free throw. He does. <laughs> Bay. About a minute, a second. McReynolds gets it to Justice. Now they got to play defense. Right side to Smith for three. Shot, no good. Rebound, McReynolds. Right back, no good. Shot, no good. Foul, Gate City. Williams called. 32. They're going to call Bays with the foul. And you know, that's not such a bad foul because it, it looked like McReynolds was going to have the easy bucket. You don't know that he would have had it, but. And the chances are good. Free throw, good. So it's just one possession game, 20 seconds to go. Big City must box out here. Don't allow a second shot if McReynolds misses. Free throw, McReynolds, good. Okay. Sub substitution, v Victor Lorenzo in for McReynolds. So here comes the pressure in the backcourt against Gate City. Salyer will be allowed to run the baseline. Anderson and Hackney make a little eye contact. Pass comes in to Anderson. Anderson has it, lobs it to Williams. Williams in the front court. Williams takes care of it and he's fouled. Williams will be fouled by Chris Smith, his third, and Stephen Williams to the line. For the Blue Devils, he'll be shooting one and one. You know, last game, Stephen made some big plays late in that contest. Here's another opportunity to make it yeah. in this one. If Stephen hits these two, chances are pretty good. Timeout. Castlewood, Devils by two, 12.8 seconds to go. We'll be back. On the back, it says we give her all, all the time. We don't give up. We don't give in. Well, that's one of the many things the Blue Devils will do. So, Stephen Williams, 6'1", junior. Two-point Gate City lead, shooting one and one. First one, no good. Rebound, Bays pulls it down, gets it to Hackney, and Hackney shoved. Oh, what an effort by Matt Bays. What an effort by Matt Bays. Williams misses the one and one. McReynolds was there, but Bays made the move. Bays just went up above him, and, and the clock never moved a bit. Hackney, free throw, money. Big time shot. And since Tony Dungy looked at that field goal in the championship game when Venetary kicked it and said money, now everybody's saying it when somebody makes a good play. It's well, money. it's true. It, he's money. Hackney can give Gate City a two possession lead. 
Of course. And of course she does. No fouls. Absolutely no fouls. Uh, especially somebody shooting a three. Inbounds comes to Justice. Justice drives around the lane, and he walks. Yes, he did. That's a walk, and the Blue Devils of Gate City with seven seconds to go and a four-point lead or just that amount of time away from winning the Region D Championship. Still time to go yet. First thing, get the ball in. Get Who's ball. ranked number one in the state now? Well, those don't mean a no. thing. Means nothing. Castlewood can still win the state championship. Yep. Sayer on the inbounds. Gets it in to, ooh, it's, it's in to, well, I couldn't see. There's yeah. Too many people standing. They're going to call Jamie Hackney with the fouls, what they're going to do. They are. I think. No, I don't like that. Yeah. So I couldn't see it, yeah. so I can't criticize. The 20, 24, Lorenzo stole the ball. Hackney. I'm not sure the Gate City's people know this, what's happened right here. They, we, there is confusion on the court. I, now. To the line will be Victor Lorenzo. And he did make the steal, and he was shoved. Well, but I, I don't know that he ever had control. Lorenzo, no good, rebound. Sager, but of course, he's got like 15 team fouls, so yeah. he'll get to shoot two. But still, even if he makes this one, it would take a three. And Gates said, uh, still yeah, on a three. Yeah, still on a three. So it will be Lorenzo set for his second. Good. And. Gate City will have the ball, but Castlewood will get the timeout. Timeout on the floor. Six seconds to go. Devils of Gate City by three. Back reaching the boys championship. Girls won earlier 49-36 from Gate City over J.J. Kelly. Gate City has trailed by 10 twice in this game, and each time has battled back. This time battled back and got the lead and has been able to stay ahead, but... Well, covering the three-point shooters had a lot to do with that. Sayer got to get the ball in, gets it in to Anderson, and a second and a half runs off, and Anderson is fouled. So that's the ninth team foul. So Ty Lee Anderson can, in essence, win the Region D Championship or lock it up for the Blue Devils if from, he hits the front end of the one and one. From the line. Like you mentioned, not tonight, but recently he's Tonight, a little bit from the line. Well, I'm not going to jinx him. Everyone will say this. No, he's, I'll tell you, he's going to he, make both of them. He's five of five from the free throw line tonight. And yeah, that's I'm 10 team fouls. It's 10 team fouls. He'll shoot two. All right. So I'll bet money that he hits one out of two. Let's I got see. a quarter in my pocket, I think. <laughs> free throw Anderson. Good. Four point lead. And now, Gate City will drop everybody off the line. No, no need to risk a foul and no fouls. Four point lead, four and a half seconds to go. And Ty Lee Anderson, free throw, money. Gate City leads by five. Castlewood with the ball inbounds. Here's a shot from midcourt that's no good. And that'll be it, the Gate City Blue Devils have come to Castlewood on their home court and defeated the number one ranked team in the state for the Region D Championship here tonight. Final score, Gate City wins 62-57 over the Castlewood Blue Devils. Now we'll have the handshakes and we'll have the Trophy presentation shortly thereafter. Yeah, need to make more room in the trophy case. Well, need to make more trophy cases. I think that can be handled with no problem. As Gate City outscores Castlewood 18 to 12 in the fourth quarter, they also outscore Castlewood 31 to 17 in the last 10 minutes and 56 seconds of the game. And they got down 10 points a couple of times and it looked like it was going to be big trouble. Gate City was down 10 with 2.56 to go in the third quarter. And they come back to outscore them 
That's right, 31 to 17 in the last 10 56. Now the trophy presentations will be dealt out. As Castlewood will get the Region D runner up trophy for the Castlewood Blue Devils. So Castlewood, they will play James River, James River next weekend somewhere up the road. Now the Region D Championship. The 2007 Region D Championship Trophy for Gate City Blue Devils. So, Josh Johnson, the first Blue Devil to get the individual medals, just as the girls did uh, here earlier tonight. Nick Collette. Nick Collette will get his next. Trevor, Trevor Smith. Smith. Number 12 will be Tylee Anderson. 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 Then next, Tyler Parks. Then the next Blue Devil will be Stephen Williams. Stephen Williams. Then the next Blue Devil, and, and then it will be Matt Bays to get his next. And then Cody Sayer will be the next Blue Devil. And then Jamie Hackney. And Abram Arwood, number 45. Nick Coach, this is Scott for me. And the Blue Devils, of course, coached by Scott Vermeer. Coach is Nick Combo Jr., Coach Burr, John Boy, and Adam T. Congratulations. Presentations continue here at Castlewood High School as Gate City has defeated the Blue Devils from Castlewood, 62-57. And earn the right to host George Wyeth next week in the state quarterfinals with the winner to move on to the final four in Richmond two weeks from now. But the Blue Devils, twice Mike, they found themselves trailing by 10 points. Dave about to big a, dig a big hole. Well, too. the second time, the second time when they got behind by 10, I thought, hmm, this is not too good because Castlewood had really taken control of the game. But the Blue Devils, Coach Vermillion, got a timeout. And as I said, that came with 2.56 to go in the third quarter. Gate City trailed. Gate City gets a timeout at the 2.56 mark. And from that point forward, which is eight minutes of the fourth quarter and the final 256 of the third quarter, outscores Castlewood 31 to 17 over that period to win 62-57. Blue Devils Region D champions, certainly. Um, Castlewood without the services of uh, one of their very good players in Patrick Fisher who suffered a knee injury. Um, obviously that hurt them some, but take nothing away from Gate City. They, when uh, when the going got cut tough a couple of times, they we, got tough. Yeah, we sucked it up and uh, was able to win the Region D Championship. And the Blue Devils win that Region D Championship with one senior on the entire squad. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, that's our wooden. I don't know if he played tonight. Uh, sure. I'm not exactly sure, but Gate City going with. 
10 players on the roster. All 10 contribute, and that oh, makes yeah, a difference. Big time. All I mean, off the bench, great starters, but the bench really kicks up this team. Well, really, Eight City, you have to start five, but you could pick out about any five and, and, and go with them because, you know, 60, 90 seconds in, there's four, three or four more in. So, yep. I mean, it's not, you know, not that huge a deal. As Gate City wins the girls' game first night, 49 36, and the boys follow with a 62 57 win over the number one ranked team in the state, Castlewood, here at Castlewood's home court. So the next game next week, not sure when. I know the radio will be there. Well, yes, we will. And let's take a look at the final score. First for Castlewood, Ryan Mead with two. Ethan Collins had 14, and of those 14, they all came in the first half. He didn't get that open look in the second half. That's right. Didn't, defense, didn't, defense, defense. He didn't score a point in the second half. Chris Smith with 14. Travis Carter with seven. Victor Lorenzo with one. Drew Justice held to eight points tonight, and Brad McReynolds had seven. For the Blue Devils of Gate City, the Region D champions, Trevor Smith, two points. Stephen Williams had four. Cody Sayer with five. Tylee Anderson had 15. Matt Bays with 12. Jamie Hackney led all scores tonight with 24. A couple of things that, that stand out. The play of Matt Bays. Yes. Playing against McReynolds. He and Cody Sayer both playing against McReynolds. Uh, kind of uh, practically eliminated the big guy inside. Sayer mm -hmm. and Bays. Sayer and Bays mostly the two that, that, that took care of that issue. Um, and then the play of... Um, of Cody Sayer with five points. But again, we've said many times, the things that don't show up in the newspaper are the things that Cody will do. He may not score 20 points a game. Defense. And a lot of nights he does, but the rebounding and the defensive play that he gives us is so crucial to, to our success. Um, and you know, it goes without saying, certainly Tylee Anderson, Jamie Hackney. Yeah, uh, they, they do the scoring, but there's some more to it. Well, and, and, you know, Gate City got scoring from four or five other people tonight, too. Those two are the leading scorer. I don't care what team it is from Midget League all the way to the NBA. They have a leading scorer, or they have a couple leading scores. And Gate City has Anderson and Hackney to do that. But on any given night, tonight, Bays has 12. Cody Sayers held to five. But Bays scores 12. Uh, we get two points off the bench from uh, Trevor Smith and two points in a five-point game. You know, they all count. Yeah, it came in the first half, but still, you know. It, but defensively, we weren't real good at times tonight. Uh, but we, early, it was But But the poor. last 11 minutes, we were a pretty good basketball team the, the last 11 minutes of, of the game, and that was uh, evident by outscoring them by 14 and winning the Region D championship here tonight over Castlewood, and they did it on their home court. And that's tough to tough to go on the road and win, but uh, the Blue Devils had a lot of fans here tonight. They neutralized. Uh, I the think Castle all this good. side was uh, Gate City fans. But again, Gate City wins the double tonight. Earlier tonight, the Lady Blue Devils win the Region D Championship over the J.J. Kelly Lady Indians. Really, in a game that Gate City's ladies dominated from their opening tip-off. Uh, they didn't allow J.J. Kelly to get in the game, and walked away with a pretty easy victory and anything but an easy victory for the boys but a victory nonetheless as they defeat castlewood tonight 62 57. state quarterfinal action will be next weekend boys and girls will host at a neutral site my guess would be virginia high but we'll see how that works out later on and i guess that'll wrap it up here tonight for Tim Hill on the GCTV camera. Mike Long, Alan Giles back at the station. Mark Feeders, good night from Castlewood.